Hey, it's Piscopo in the morning. Steve Adubato on the line early this morning, 644 right now. Steven, good morning. How you doing this morning? Good morning, Mr. Piscopo. How's everything going? Great. We're doing great. We are up. We are Adam. It's a Monday. The president of the United States in Camden, New Jersey, Steve Adubato. I tell you, it's a, whether you like him or not, whether you, whatever you're feeling, it's a good thing when the president goes to an inner city of the United States. That's what happens. You made a call to President Obama, and you said you got to come to <laughs> no, no. Camden, and uh, that's you, what happened. You could have made that call. I could talk about it. I could talk about it. Matter of fact, I should have called Steve. I should have called you because you know what I want to do, Steve. I want to get him to the other side of town if I can, and I don't know that he's going to go there. It seems pretty orchestrated right there at the Camden County Police uh, Department there. But uh, all in all, isn't that a great thing that the president comes? He, he, he must be listening to us somewhere. Well, I'll put it this way. Um, Given all the horrible situations that have happened across the country, Joe, in Ferguson and in uh, Baltimore, as a, as a kid who grew up in a, you know, and, you know, I'm old enough to remember bits and pieces of 1967 oh, in man, Newark. Man. We know as uh, the summer comes in any city across this country, Camden, Newark, Trenton, and New Jersey, the fact that the president is coming and talking about police community policing, the fact that he's coming to Camden to talk about the fact that things have gotten better in Camden with, not with jobs, not with the economy, but right, with right. community policing and between the minority community yep. and the police yep. department. Yep. Anything that's better between the minority community and the police department compared to what's going on in the rest yep. of the country, yep. that's a good thing, Joe Piscopo. And you know, Steve, out of bottom, they're looking to Camden, New Jersey, around the country, man. It's all eyes are on Camden. Look at this. And and who came up with this initiative with the police? Who came up with this? It was a conservative governor by the name of Chris Christie who came up with this whole Camden County Police Initiative. And I, But he's not going to be anywhere around today. Well, you know what's going to be interesting? It's funny you just say that because it was Chris Christie who pushed this Camden initiative with Dana Red, the uh, mayor down there, African-American, Democratic, female mayor. Right. The governor hooked up with her down there and the administration, and they decided this was going to be a test case for what the Republican administration in New Jersey could do with the Democratic administration in Camden, try to make the schools better, try to improve the uh, minority police relationship. But isn't it interesting that Chris Christie will, I believe, be in New Hampshire? I have no idea <laughs> why he's in New Hampshire, why he's hanging around up there. You can hang around New Jersey. He's hanging around the bars up in New Hampshire, meeting people up there. It's a coincidence. I have no idea what's going on up there. But it was Chris Christie. I wonder if Obama's going to give any credit to Christie. I wonder if Christie's going to comment on Obama being here. Last time they were hanging out at the shore after uh, Sandy and Oof. hugging each other, and that we're still talking about that. It's interesting yeah. stuff. I know, and everybody talk. But you talk about Governor Christie. I swear to you, man, people don't forget. Oh, when he hugged the president, that was it for me. Well, wait a minute. It was it was for Sandy that he hugged the president. It was. It's like what's happening. In, I think Christie should be there, Camden today. It's his initiative. He should be there. You think Kim Guadagno will be the lieutenant governor, right, Steve? She's got I it. think uh, the lieutenant governor should be there, will be there yeah. with the president. Given the optics, as they say, Joe, in yeah. Republican presidential uh, politics, <laughs> will not be there because to be seen with President Obama in a Republican, to be pictured and seen and potentially hugging or shaking hands with President Obama right about done, now, done. you might as well be with Satan. <laughs> As your good friend, who used to say that in uh, Saturday Night Live? I forget who said yellow Satan. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, right, 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 right. Hey, Steve, also, uh, did not, and I have to ask you an inside line, and not to be too inside. Uh, oh, me and you, too inside. Never no, but what, what, believe me, personal lives, that's what they, but, but George Norcross, the powerhouse from South Jersey, is he the guy that brought the president to Camden, you think? <laughs> God. Joe. What? Come on. What? It's like asking, yeah. you know, was it, you, of course, with, with, with Hyman Roth, did he make certain things happen <laughs> and down in uh, Cuba? I mean, my point is, of course, talk about inside. i got to make a Godfather reference. Difficult, not impossible. Got it. Yeah, okay, okay. Got it. Yeah. But, but the point is, George Norcross, uh, yeah, is the yeah. chairman of the board down in Cooper Hospital down in uh, Camden. He is a political powerhouse down in Camden and a power broker, and there's no way the president comes to Camden, New Jersey, mm. without uh, George Norcross being very much involved. And he will be there, I'm sure, 
And you'll, you'll see he's uh, got a silver mane, and, and he'll be taking pictures with the president. Hey, uh, Steve Adubato on the line with Piscopo, 649 right now on AM 970. The answer hey, be- by the way, excuse me for interrupting. Yes, Don't please. Are my spots for my TV show running on the Piscopo they show? They are running constantly. We've canceled everything and are only playing out of bottle spots throughout the whole morning show, as a matter of fact. Good, because that was the buy that we bought. Cancel <laughs> everything else and run mine. Just want to know. And and Big it. Al, Big Al muscled me after the show. He goes, you got to do this one tag. I said, Al, I got I got kids. I got to go. He goes, Joe, it's for Steve Adubato. So I put a special tag on. <laughs> Listen to my friend, Steve Adubato. Steven, I'll see you on the 25th of June for our I can't wait for you and I to talk for your PBS show. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get together. Right? I guess that, is that an NJ Pack or Lincoln Center? That's Lincoln Center. Well, now look at you, Mister New York. All of a sudden, what happened? Well, well, let me get this straight. Well, Just because guy, we're guys from New Jersey, we have to get a passport to come to. The I'd rather go to that. stretches. I want to go to the Belmont Tavern on Bloomfield Avenue. I got to go to Lincoln Center with you now. What are you? Hold, hold up? on. You we had, talk about inside. There's a place called the Belmont Tavern. For everybody, the millions watching in the tri-state area. Yeah, yeah. There's a place called the Belmont Tavern in New Jersey. Check it out. You need a special code to get in. Yeah, you need to. The password. The times. password is Pesci Frankie Vincent. That's what. That's the password. Remember Pesci those. Frankie Vincent. You go inside. <laughs> by the way, there is no menu. If you and by the way, if you ever try to okay. ask for anything special or anything different than what they have, yeah. they say. Just get out. Don't come back. <laughs> it's the like best place. Stephen, I'll see you the 25th. Also, on our bit, we, we're going to go to a break, but June 16th, thank you for doing that business breakfast. That's going to be huge. June 16th, Saccone Theater in Paramus, New Jersey. Big Steve's going to headline that whole thing, so we're excited about that, Steve. It's going to be great. Looking forward to it. Talking to business people about how to improve their business, how to bring in more business, how to keep the business you have. That's because AM970 is committed to helping the business community, to creating jobs. Politicians talk about it. AM970 makes it happen. We do with it. you and Jerry Crowley and uh, Frank and Al and the team. We do. That's it. why I love being a part of this family. Thank you, Stephen. Always appreciate it, my friend. God bless. I'll talk to you soon, Big Steve.